Hi, this is Gary from LandofCoins.com. Thanks for checking out this video and watching it. Uh, if you don't know what Land of Coins is, Land of Coins is an online auction website that you can buy and sell your coins with no transaction fees. There's no seller's fees, there's no buyer's fees, just a small monthly payment. And you can sell and buy as many coins as you want. So check it out if you haven't already, LandofCoins.com. Uh, this video I'm going to talk about the 1794 half cents, the C8 variety. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to look for in order to identify uh, if the half cent is a C8 or not. So we're going to go to the computer. I'm going to pull up a big picture of a C8 1794 half cent and point out the characteristics of what you need to look for. The 1794 Liberty Cap half cent. This is the C8 variety. I'm going to help you learn how to identify a C8 variety half cent. The first thing you want to look at, it's a combination of the front, the obverse, and the reverse. It's a combination of both to determine if it's a C8 or not. First thing you want to look at is the date. And notice the date is high compared to other dates in this series. And the 4 is nearly touching the image. The, uh, the bust of the Liberty Lady. And I'm going to draw an arrow here. You'll see, see how close it is? The four almost touches the bottom of the image. If you have that combined with the reverse, uh, the number of leaves on the branches and the number of berries on the branches, uh, on the left side you need 16 leaves with five berries, okay? And on the right side, you need 16 leaves with six berries. And the berries are little dots. Uh, let's go through, let's count the berries first this time. You'll see one berry here, two, three, right here, uh, four, and five. Five is right here. So you got one, two, three, four, five. On the right side, you need six of them. So you got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six berries. Now let's count the leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, See this little one here? That's why it's hard to see. 13, 14, 15, and 16 leaves. On the right side, we got one, two, three, four, five. There's another one here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you got 16 leaves, six berries on the branches on the right side. That's how you identify a C8 1794 half cent. The 1794 Liberty Cap half cent, we got another coin here I'm going to show you that's in a that's in a better grade. So how do we identify a C8? Let's do it again. All you got to do is first it's a combination of the obverse, the front of the coin, and the reverse of the coin. If you have the combination correct, then you got a C8 variety. First, you're going to want to look at the date on the front of the coin. Notice how the date is high on the coin, and the 4 is just about touching the bust, the neck area. And I'll draw an arrow here so you know what I'm talking about right here. Notice the four is almost touching the neck. If you have that combined with a certain number of leaves on each branch, the left branch you're supposed to have 16 with five berries, okay? And the right branch, 16 leaves with six berries. So left branch, 16 leaves with five berries, and on the right branch, 16 leaves with six berries. I won't count them again because we did that just on the other coin. 
But just to show you this coin too, and that this is uh, also a variety C8, and that's how you identify it. So isn't that cool? Now you know how to identify a 1794 Liberty Cap half cent, the C8 variety. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and uh, also for more information on half cents. I do recommend if you're a half cent collector or wannabe, make sure you get the get books. So this one is the uh, uh, David Bowers half cents and large cents. It goes through specifics on what the coin. What the, how to identify the different varieties of all the coins. Really great book. I do highly recommend it. You can also get this book. This is the Cohen. So when I'm talking about the different varieties like C2, C3, C4, this is the guy that made those variety numbers. This is what everyone follows. The Cohen book. This is the American Guide to Half Cents or the American Half Cents Guide. And then you can also get another book, Walter Breen's Encyclopedia of Half Cents. This goes farther than just the Liberty Caps. This goes all the way up to 1857. All of the Half Cents. So this is a good book too. You can pick these up on Amazon. Definitely worth having if you're a Half Cent collector. Again, my name is Gary from LandofCoins.com. Check out the website LandofCoins.com if you haven't already. Appreciate you watching this video.